Hi, and welcome back to Investment Banking University's Front Office Investment Banking Process Course. We are on the third step of the Front Office Investment Banking Process, which is known as origination, and we're going to be talking about the origination process. So starting out with the table of contents, like we always do, we're going to discuss uh, just at a high level the Front Office Investment Banking Process, go into why origination, why we do it as investment bankers, the origination process, identifying decision makers, the cycle of origination, initial outreach, preparing for the pitch, and pitching. So once again, the front office investment banking process starts with coverage, goes into mandate target matching, then into origination, the topic of this presentation here, then to fee structuring and winning the mandate, underwriting, packaging, buyer list creation, deal structuring in the M&A process. So why do we actually do origination? Well, this is the actual primary work of the investment banker in addition to running the M&A process. So this helps us to keep the pipeline full of deals, which is the primary goal of any front office investment banker. So once we have built out the buy side relationships within our coverage area, we can then be able to source targets for our buy side partners. Origination, once again, is the primary work of the investment banker in order to keep the pipeline full. And we source targets for buy, buy side engagements, or we can ultimately structure a sell side engagement if appropriate. This tends to happen in the lower middle market, uh, more so as it relates to um, when you're finding you know, different targets and being able to negotiate a fee. So in terms of the origination process, we're going to be identifying decision makers, the cycle of origination, initial outreach, preparing for the pitch and pitching. And this assumes that we've already found a list of targets through the mandate target matching process. And then we're going to be going out and originating an actual uh, opportunity with regard to those targets. So in terms of identifying decision makers, after pulling a list of target companies within our coverage area, and uh, consistent with the buy side mandates, we need to get an understanding of the ownership structure of the target companies. How are, decision make, how are decisions made? Is there an owner, a single owner? Is there a management team that's actually in place? And how are we going to be reaching out so we can have sort of a, uh, a, a target company strategy here? So in terms of obtaining actual contact information for the appropriate decision makers, once we get an understanding of that, we can use various sources to get emails like Rocket Reach or Sales Genie, and then ultimately if we're trying to pull contact phones for those individuals, we can use Fast People Search, which is fairly effective with regard to that. In terms of the cycle of origination, um, in order to properly originate deals, we need to establish the you know the relationships on the sell side by giving market updates to executives and owners and telling them what's going on in the m a and capital markets this can take uh, a longer period of time obviously at larger levels um, but with regard to maybe the lower middle market or middle market things may happen a little bit quicker so as the relationship is established you can then pitch them strategic alternatives including selling their company Throughout the relationship building process, there will be you know, occasional lunches and dinners to catch up on what the actual target company has been doing, their strategic plans, and this just speaks to the relationship building process. And things are obviously gonna be a little bit different at higher levels, uh, middle market on up to large cap type companies and, uh, and different for the lower middle market. In terms of our initial outreach, uh, most oftentimes what I've found is, is being effective is an initial origination email strategy, um, trying to get an understanding of, of where they are at in their uh, own process of uh, you know, making an exit, achieving a target valuation. Are they open to hearing offers? What does that process look like? Once we get an understanding there and some engagement back, we can then uh, get on an exploratory call so where we can introduce our own firm, uh, explain our coverage, our relationships that we have, talk about a timeline for an exit, uh, whether or not they're exploring strategic alternatives um, on you know, 
on the buy side as well, or if they're just looking for making an exit. And then ultimately, if they're trying to make, you know, uh, achieve a target valuation, so we can get an idea of, of really what they're expecting if they are going to be making an exit for the company. Once we have that exploratory call underway, we can gather some additional resources in order to prepare for a more formalized pitch of what that would actually look like. If we're trying to land a sell side engagement and at maybe the lower middle market to middle market, we can then put together a pitch book in order to do so. And this is going to walk through a timeline. It's gonna walk through the, the status of the M&A and capital markets. It's gonna walk through likely buyers and uh, ultimately what that process is going to look like. And then once we you know, actually schedule the meeting and get a chance to meet uh, and, and fulfill our actual pitching, we're gonna walk the decision makers through the pitch book in order to explore what an actual sell side process would look like uh, for some of the items we just talked about with regard to timeline, likely buyers, M&A landscape, evaluation that we think we can achieve in a timeline within which to do so. Um, and this is just at a high level. You know, Obviously we're gonna be going into greater detail in the actual course at investmentbankingu.com, but this gives you a very high level understanding of the origination process with regard to Investment Banking University's front office investment banking process course. So go to investmentbankingu.com, register for the course. We look forward to talking to you. Thanks.